this week we're sticking closer to home. I'll be finding out whether first class stamps are really worth the extra money. I'll be whipping up a quick breakfast of pancakes in the kitchen and also doing one of my least favourite chores. While Paul... I will find out whether I know my beans. Ooh, sounds interesting. Let's get started. The art of letter writing has come back into fashion, but have you ever considered whether you're paying too much postage? So I went out to the shops today and bought first class stamps for the first time to do this experiment. So I've got a, a, a book of six first class and a book of 12 second class here. I've also got some notes from the Royal Mail and it says that for first class, if you send a letter from 85p, uh, it, they aim to deliver it the next working day, including Saturdays. And for second class, sending your letter from 66p, uh, they will aim to deliver it in two to three working days, also including Saturdays. So I've written two lovely letters to myself and now I'm going to take a walk down to the post box and uh, pop them in the post and let's see how long it takes for each one to get back to me. Well, let's see what happens. Porridge every day can be a bit boring, so why not mix it up and have pancakes? It's a very simple one today. I've got a pre-made batter mix for pancakes. And all you need to do is, well, read the instructions of the packet, but on mine it said to add 300 mils of cold water. So that's what I'm going to do here. 300 mils of cold water and then whisk it all up until you get rid of all the lumps. Um, I'm not very good at whisking. I'll go the other way. Let's see. I always have a very weak whisking arm for some reason. So whisk and whisk and whisk. No lumpy, lumpy, lumpy. You want a nice smooth batter. And once you've achieved that, then you're basically ready to make your pancakes. So I've transferred the batter mix into my jug because it's going to be easier to pour onto the pan. And I've already preheated um, my pan here a little bit. So just a little bit of oil, just normal vegetable oil. Um, and we want that sort of quite, quite heated up. Like that. We can test it with a little bit of, of batter. Oh yeah, right. And you just, that's about ready, pour a really sort of thin amount round. A nice circle like that. You could you would make it bigger if you want. It depends on the size of the uh, of the pancake that you want. But it has to be a, a sort of a thin coating, really like that. I might just add a tiny bit more oil around it for the next stage. Here we go. Oh yeah, look at that. 
That's perfect. So let's transfer it back over to here. And this is the point where you can basically run free with how you want to uh, how you how you want to eat it. You can just eat it on its on its own, but uh, it's nice with something something added to it. So I've got um, you can add anything. You can have bacon with it um, for a full breakfast. You can add an egg to it. You could put butter on it. I'm going to have some lovely strawberry jam, just like that. And I'm going to add some icing sugar on top. Just like that. Grab your knife and fork and tuck in. Mmm. I'm gonna turn turn it around like that. Let's see. Mix all those lovely bits of jam and everything around. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. Mmm! Oh yeah! Oh goodness me! Oh! Oh! There's only one word for it! Mmm! Mmm! Delicious! Well, let's see what happens. So it's now Saturday morning. I posted both letters at 7.45 p.m. on Thursday. Now, of course, I didn't expect them to be picked up on Thursday evening, uh, but first thing on Friday morning, they should have been taken from the post box. And if the Royal Mail uh, followed its uh, uh, advice or advisory and said, well, first class should arrive within uh, one day or whatever, uh, the first class letter should be here today, and with second class, uh, I wouldn't expect to see it. But look what's arrived. Well, well, look at that. Both first class and second class letters have arrived on the same day. Now, I'm not saying that this proves anything, absolutely anything at all. And of course, do bear in mind that I live down the road, just down the road, from the Royal Mail Sorting Office, so it's not as if they have far to travel. But I haven't bought first class stamps for years. Uh, you know, probably 20, 20 years. Uh, I send everything second class, and because I've always felt, well, it's probably just going to get there in the same length of time, and I'm not really that bothered uh, if it's going to get there one day later anyway. Um, nothing's really ever that urgent. And uh, I'm not saying this proves anything, but all I'm saying is it just makes me prove to myself that what I've been doing has been right all these, all these years. For me, personally, there's no point in me buying first class stamps. But enjoy letter writing. Uh, it's an art that has been lost over the years and I think has returned um, during the, the past year or so. One final thing just to add that I've just noticed. Have a look at the processing times because there's only 30 seconds between both letters and interestingly the second class letter uh, was processed first and they've both got the same codes and everything. So again, I'm not saying this proves anything, but it's just an interesting point. know about you but one of my least favorite chores is cleaning the bathroom but it has to be done and 
I use like a different sort of selection of um, sprays. I've got like a cleaner with bleach and I've got an all-purpose cleaner. Uh, the bleach is used in the toilet and down, down the drains and the, the dirtier bits. And the all-purpose cleaner um, for the, the, le the less dirty bits, it's, it smells better as well. Um, I usually have three different types of cleaning cloths. So I've got like a traditional a blue cloth, uh, a sponge, and a scourer to get rid of the, the the big dumb dirt that has been here since we last cleaned the bathroom months ago. I don't know. Anyway, it seems like a long time. It's a dirty job. Someone's got to do it, and it's me. So let's get started. This bit calls for double duty. So I just use an old t-shirt for drying. Now we mustn't forget to do the floors and I use a flash power mop to do that job. Well next, while the floor is drying, I've got an old towel to put down, which means if I want to walk in, I can without getting footprints all over the place. While I've been cleaning the bathroom, Paul has um, cleaned the bath mat in vinegar, white vinegar, and is absolutely gleaming, just like the bathroom itself. Um, the shower curtain is in the washing machine, so it'll go up later. And thank God, that's this job over for another couple of months. <laughs> well, while Paul's gone out to do the shopping, I've been a little bit crafty and I've set up an experiment for when he gets home. I wanted to find out whether he can tell the difference between budget beans and expensive, the more expensive top of the range branded baked beans. Um, so today I've got four different selections for him to try. I've got uh, a Sainsbury's uh, just standard baked beans. I've got a Waitrose Essential can. Then we go up to the Branston baked beans and the classic Heinz. Um, he'll not know which is which and um, we'll find out if he can Taste the difference! Do you fancy baked beans for dinner? What? This way. Now I blind... Oh <laughs> <laughs> I blindfolded Paul um, because even though I've removed the cans he might be able to tell what they are from the look of them. So we, we're going purely on, on taste here. 
So I um, might have. You to... need to bring it up. I can't. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna guide you. I'm gonna guide you down. So which hand do you want to use? Okay. Why don't I put the spoon in your hand? There we go. And you're gonna go into number one, which is which is right here. Where? <laughs> here. And just take a spoon. Yes. Yeah. There's a there's baked beans in there. Take a spoonful and guide it up, <laughs> up to your mouth. I feel like it's gonna fall. Can I? Can I lift this whole thing? Yeah. Well, there's a number stuck to it. That doesn't matter. This one. Yeah. And just take a spoonful. How much is in here? Well, there's about three or four spoonfuls worth. It. Just, just take one. One spoonful will do. And uh, swirl it around. Mm. Can I have another bite? Yeah. I haven't told you anything about these beans. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. I'll say that. But I haven't told you where they're from, what kind okay. of whatever they are. Let me get this number back. Up again. But there are four. There's four. Okay. okay. So that's that's number one. Have you got any any ideas? Any ideas at all that you might think number one might be? Maybe like a cheap one. Okay. I don't know. Well, we'll, well okay. Leave it, at, leave it at that. A cheap one. Okay, number two, I'll give you the, the spoon. We're using a fresh spoon for each one. Okay, please. And, okay, guide. Well, <laughs> there you go, number two. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> don't, st don't stick your finger in it. Can I lift it? Yeah. Number two. What do you think? This one has more taste to it. More taste to it? This one has like more um, saucy bits. Saucy bits? More tomato-y? You reckon? I think so. This one isn't as bland as the first one. Oh, right. Not as bland. Okay. You want to set it down? Okay. Good. You've nearly eaten all of those. <laughs> Are you hungry? This is <laughs> yes. Well, this is dinner tonight, so enjoy it while you can. Let's move on to number three. Here's the spoon. Put it in your hand. I'll guide you down to number three bowl. Up. Okay. We don't want it, we don't want it landing. It? It's there. We don't want it landing on the floor. Where is it? It's right there. Here? Yeah. Kind of left. <laughs> you can, yeah. Just don't drop it. So here we go with number three. What do you think? This one seems to have the same seasoning as the second one that I had. Mmm, interesting. Okay. Do you reckon they could have come out with the same can or from the same factory or something? I think the one before had more taste to it. The second one you tried? Yeah. More taste than this one? Yeah. But the same. this one's got the similar sort of seasoning? Yes. Okay. All right. We'll put number three back down again. Oh, yeah. I'll take it. Right, okay, so we'll go on to the last one, number four. And uh, where is where oh, is the dish? It's it's right in front of you. Okay. Yeah, you can lift it. What do you think? Tastes the same as the last one. So okay, the seasoning is the same. It's a, you, are you saying that numbers two, three, and four are all pretty much the same? I think that the first one had like the least amount of taste in the sauce. Okay. The second one was tastier and saucier. The third one you said had a similar sort of seasoning to the second one, but it was... This one tastes similar to the third one. Okay. So, if I was to tell you... Can I put this down? Yeah, you can put it down. If I was to tell you what each one actually... Okay. Well, I'm not going to tell you in which order, but I'll, I'll tell you the, the four that we've chosen here. Okay. So we've got a a Waitrose Essential. Okay. 
we've got a Branston, we've got a Sainsbury's, just like the normal Sainsbury's, and we've got a Heinz. The first one that you had... A uh, Sainsbury? So you think that was the Sainsbury. Number two. Heinz? You think that was Heinz. Number three. Waitrose Essential. Waitrose Essential. And number four, then that leaves only... Branston. Branston. Okay. Well, the results are quite interesting because you, you got the first one right. Number one you said was Sainsbury's and number one was indeed Sainsbury's. Okay. Uh, number two you said was Heinz. Mm -hmm. Number two was Waitrose Essential. Oh, okay. Number three you said was Waitrose. Yeah. Number three was Branston. Oh. And number four you said was Branston. And number four is actually Heinz. So I don't know what it proves. It may prove something, it may prove nothing. You got the first you got the first one right. Can I take this off then? Yeah, sure. Oh. What do beans mean? Who knows? Well, I think we'll smell it later <laughs> later tonight oh, after no. all this. <laughs> Next week, it's our health special. I'll be taking a trip to the dentist and finding out why I can't sleep at night. I will be reliving my eye trauma and taking some exercise at the park. Maybe I'll join him. We'll see, and we'll see you then. Bye.